listen, Tory was here last year, all right? And Tory promised me that uh, he won the state championship. And uh, man, was he phenomenal tonight uh, in this game. And it, it, it's, you know, uh, he scored his thousand points, you know, which is a great honor for him in a big game. I'm very proud of him, senior. He said he wanted to go out on top, and he left it on the floor. He was phenomenal. Corey, uh, while I was sitting there, I looked up the score I wrote from the wide high game last year here, and you said basically, I plan on being here again next year, and I don't plan on losing. So was just losing that wide high game last year to Patterson kind of motivation for today and the season? I mean, I guess so, but losing at all, losing in general, especially with our team we got now, we just really don't want to lose. Everybody just fights real hard. We're down 10, I think. Everybody just keeps fighting. We'll never give up. Just losing in general, not just that game. <coughs> Along those lines, can you touch on the resolve, your team shield, down 10 in the third, and you just guys kept chipping away? Well, you know, we prepared for this. You know, we had some tough games in our conference, and I thought those games prepared us for tonight. And uh, like Tori said, we just don't quit. You know, it's uh, 32 minutes of hell. Tori, when you, you shot that three towards the end there, um, you guys, when you were down 61-59, you sort of spun around after a little bit of contact from number 12, um, and then you made all three foul shots. Can you walk me through what you saw as you went up for that three, and is that just sort of a veteran move to add a, add a little twist when you get a little contact on the three-pointer? Well, he was kind of closing out a little out of control all game, so I know if I could get the shot off, he was probably going to give me a little contact. I was just hoping the ref gave me the call. And maybe a little acting at the end, a little bit, but it was just a great call, I guess. <laughs> so they, um, they're kind of seemed like I don't know, kind of the first three and a half quarters. They were kind of bottling you up inside. You don't face a lot of six, seven, six, eight guys on the shore. Um, but then near the end of the third quarter, Tori gives you that assist. You get that two-handed dunk. Did you kind of feel like at that moment, you you know, you were kind of more comfortable? Mm -hmm. um, I mean that that just helped me like get good, I guess, because the, the beginning of the game, I was, I don't know what I was doing, but that just helped me pick it up. Coach, um, coming into this game, what did you know about Central Valley? Um, not much. Uh, you know, we uh, looked at some of their numbers as far as the video. We didn't watch any. Our model has been all year, as long as we do what we do, we don't really care about what other teams do. You know, we make them a uh, game plan for us. Because we just stick with our game plan. Coach, a couple of years ago, you and your staff were really adamant that you would get to a state final. What made you so uh, confident in that and to bring it to right now? Well, these kids work hard. You know, when I uh, took this job three years ago uh, and when I hired my staff, I told them that this is just not a uh, uh, November to March. It's from March to whenever. We, we live in the gym. Our kids live in the gym. They work all year long, along, summer leagues. And, uh, and and the reward is tonight, you know. We have one more game, though. We have one more game. Uh, but it's just that uh, all-year-round play. You, you know, the only way you're going to get better is you just got to play. Tori, uh, what were they doing? And, you know, at the end of the third quarter, they jump out to that. You know, they go on that 10-0 run. Um, was it something they were doing, you know, different in, to the start of the second half? Or was it you guys just not able to kind of keep up with it for that I don't think it was really either. Basketball, the game of runs, they're a good team. They make make runs. We made a run. They make a run. It was just one of their runs that they had in the game. Can you surprise some people today? I mean, obviously, when you think of Shore basketball teams, maybe the great unknown line, a lot of people here in the Western Shore really know too much about Eastern Shore basketball and the Bayside Conference. Do you think you kind of opened up some eyes today? Oh, without a doubt, you know, and that's what we talked about, you know. Uh, we got some talent down on the Eastern Shore, and um, – you know, we, we want to be the team to make all those college coaches come down to see these kids. All right? That's our goal, you know, to put these kids in college. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Why don't you up them get a free education? Hey, we did our job. Yeah. Um, i sure you guys saw a little bit of the uh, that first game there. Um, you know, being a 3 or a 4 eight team, you, the good thing is you kind of get that break in between the semifinal and the, the final game. Um, what, what's tomorrow's, uh, you know, practice or film session or whatever you guys do, what's that going to be about? Well, uh, we'll, we'll um, listen, we, we won't change up anything. Uh, we stuck to a game plan from uh, November the 5th. We came in with a game plan from November the 15th, and we stuck with that game plan throughout the whole year, and that won't change tomorrow. Uh, we're going to practice and practice hard, uh, prepare. We watched a little bit of their game today. Uh, they're a really good team, well-coached team, 
Uh, we just got to come out and play. The what can you uh, attribute the 25 turnovers to tonight? Uh, their pressure and our tempo, the way we play. You know, We understand uh, the way we play, that we're going to turn the ball over. Uh, but these kids never quit. You know, And I tell them, if you keep playing for that, uh, defense, <coughs> they'll always be in the game. And even though we had a high number of turnover, um, we just kept playing, just kept playing. Number 44, you had a real big dunk there. Um, after their guy had a couple of big dunks, you had a big one that you know really kind of got your guys going. Talk about you know how that was kind of a momentum builder for you guys. Um, I mean, they had been blocking my shots, and I'd been just going up soft. So I knew that if I didn't throw it down or at least go up strong, that it was going to end badly. Tori, you hear it all the time about where you play at and who you're playing against. What made you come out here on the floor tonight against these guys? Saw you kind of had an edge to your game to let let them know that you could you could play with them up there. Everybody says short basketball. We can't hoop. We don't play anybody. But I mean, we play AAU all summer. We play against these guys, maybe people better than them all summer, and we beat them. Like they they play basketball the same way we play basketball. So just came out here and show them, let them know we not we ain't no slouches on the shore either.